Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Currency Insider. I hope you are doing well. God give you more happiness and more success in your life. Please check back the latest update about Iraqi dinar. The RV was a long time ago. Go, this is an RI. It is to be reinstated. I believe it's trying to reach $322 so he can be on par and then float in the basket and gain more value. Deleting the zeros off the currency will not change the price on the ISX Iraqi stock exchange. Changing the exchange rate will have an impact on the ISX Iraq stock market, a joke to many a profit for others. Nasdaq signs new agreement with Iraq stock exchange. This new Iraqi dinar stock market is now electronic. And instead of taking three weeks for a transaction to complete it, takes only five minutes. Everybody realize they have all these income streams. You realize it's not just going to be oil. The non-oil revenues, tourism, agriculture, liquid, natural gas, natural resources, all those are going to be part of the future. And so that's really powerful. The rate doesn't matter. But freedom of movement of capital is important. That is Article 8 compliance. They cannot be Article 8 compliant. If the country is functioning under AMCP, AMCP multiple currency practices includes a parallel rate of greater than 2% of the official rate, by IMF definition, Salah said last year that the parallel rate is required to be 2% or less of the official rate. This 2% or less needs to be maintained for a period of 90 days. The parallel rate is still around 14% difference. One has done their job, BOA, Chase City Bank, Wells Fargo. They're all in the chain of command now. These banks are being informed of what's going on. I also believe the ones banks inside of Iraq are receiving new machines that have the software for the new lower notes. Chase? They don't need that software because they will not be proving inspecting at lower notes. They're just the middle person who sends it to the others. The others at JP Morgan have the new technology machine software. They are the ones training and practicing EMO, the difference between Kuwaiti revaluation and the Iraqi dinar. What's the difference? It's a completely different model. Kuwaiti got invaded. Saddam Hussein stole the printing press, the Kuwaiti version of the treasury, stole everything. Iraqi dinar was completely different. It was planned they knew the old Iraqi currency was going to collapse. We injected their economy with dollars and euros. That's when they took the old dinars off the streets and introduced the new dinar. You and I have, it's a completely different model. There's no way to compare. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more updates.